is what are the tools required to set up and execute the Microsoft Dynamics 365 automation script. So first one is .NET framework is required on the system and uh, second thing is uh, you should have the user studio ID and as is well so it is developed this particular framework is developed on top of the selenium web driver so no need to worry about the code whole code is available in the google and also it is available in the github so you can go to the google and you can search for the easy repro github so you will get the github repository that is uh, this is the official website official github page where you can get the whole code of the easy repro automation framework so this is an open source framework which is uh, maintained and managed by the microsoft team so directly you can clone it from here so that's the one thing so there are few things which is not working that means uh, you might be facing an issue with the driver launching or i mean the browser launching uh, so if you are finding those kind of issues you can go to the my github repository that is a uh, https colon two forward slash github.com then one forward slash and followed by that buck up and if you type this one in this url so i will come to the overview tab and go to here you can go to the repository section that's a repository tab and you can go to the easy rep automation framework so very recently i have cloned this same github repository then i have modified it with respect to the browsers i have fixed a couple of issues and now it is working fine so better you can go ahead and clone it from this particular uh, github repository that is a uh, github.com one forward slash backup and and followed by easy repro automation framework so you can get whole code from this particular url so no need to worry about the code just you can focus on just you can follow me like what i'm what i'm explaining and so if you want you can make the note of that so let us get started so what i will do firstly i will clone this particular repository so you can click on this code and get the url of this and in your system git must be installed to clone this particular repository and once you have this particular command executed so very recently i have cloned this particular repository in my local system so you can type git and clone and followed by the url and after cloning this particular repository come to the folder so this is how it looks like so after opening the folder is the repro automation framework so here you will see the ui automation.sln that means ui automation solution you can double click on this particular ui automation.sln then solution will be opened in this id that is a visual studio id so if you look at in the right side that's the solution explorer uh, section you will see the total four projects and one solution that means uh, under one solution there are four projects so here solution name is ui automation under that we have we have one project that is a microsoft.dynamics 365.ui automation.api and second one is microsoft.dynamics 365.ui automation.api.uci and similarly we have browser project and sample project guys so that's it so this is how you can clone the whole easy repro automation framework repository in your local machine so it is very easy you can either go to the google.com and search for easy repro github then you will see here uh, the very first link under after github.com so you will find the microsoft and after that easy repro so this is the official github repository from the microsoft and so i have fixed couple of issues and which is available in my github repository guys so directly you can clone it this particular repository which will work fine without having without prompting you any errors and if you are trying with this particular repository you will be having a couple of issues which you have to fix it with respect to the browser so that's it all about the easy repro automation framework about uh, how to get into 
get the whole project in your local machine right so let us go to the, our visual studio now so under sample project that is uh, microsoft.dynamics365.uiautomation.sample open that this particular project so here as of now so as it is a very first session on easy Rapid automation framework just explore this particular project that's a sample project under this you can go to the app.config so in this session we will mainly discuss about how to run the script and after that we will discuss how to execute your script in the different browser and how to handle all the elements which is there in the microsoft dynamics 365 crm applications so you can go to the app.config file and here you can specify the username and second one is password and third one is url of the microsoft dynamics 365 crm application so after specifying username password and url you can specify the browser type which type of browser you want you want to execute this particular script so no need to worry about the script as of now just focus on how to execute your script on the browser as of now so in my case as i said earlier so i have fixed a couple of things with respect to the browsers so as of now i'm executing my script on edge browser right so that's the reason here i have specified the edge and if you want to execute your script on chrome browser you can you can specify it as a chrome browser so that's it so simply close this one and in this same project microsoft.dynamics365uiautomation.sample project go to the uca folder so these all the scripts are created by the microsoft team so these are the by default you will get all the folders whichever you want for the reference purpose you can keep it otherwise you can delete it so in this session as i'll be showing you how to execute a script so i will go to one of the folder here so create account so this is a simple script which will open the browser and it will enter the url whatever the url we have specified in app.config file and simply enter the username and password it will select the sales model then it will create a one account so as of now no need to worry about this code i will explain line by line in the upcoming sessions so simply right click on this method and say run test if you look at here so it has launched the browser then it, it has entered your username and password So these are the different models in the Microsoft D365 CRM. So right now we are dealing with the sales model. So here it will go to this particular account section and it will create a basic account which will add a mandatory fields data then it will save the record. So now it will click on new button, then it will enter the all the required data, then it will simply save the record. But if you look at this particular framework, right guys, so it is a very stable framework. So if it is taking a little bit of time because of the sync issues or maybe the application is slow or whatever the application response is slow server server is slow so based on that it will take some time but it's uh, having very dynamic uh, dynamically actually it will fetch the object whenever it's available right guys so i'll go to the test explorer and simply i'll check here so if you look at here this particular test got passed so this is how you can get started with the easy repro automation framework so in the upcoming session i will cover 
how to write your XPath and how to deal with the different objects which is available in the Dynamics 365 CRM applications and also finally I will discuss how to deal with the multi-factor authentication and also I'll discuss what are the changes I have made with respect to the browsers as well. So that's all I have in this session. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to this particular channel so that you will get the latest updates on the software testing. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.